is of course the 10th anniversary season for the 52 Super Series. Way back in 2012 we started with just five boats. We've got a super competitive fleet of uh, nine boats. We saw Vayu, the Thai team, in second yesterday. Two second places, Phoenix leading. More breeze today, sea breeze in the afternoon, up to 15 or 16 knots. It will be full on. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different day. We've got a uh, high pressure offshore and as the land heats up um, over Spain, we'll get a little heat low and we'll get really good acceleration. So we're going to start out probably hoisting the main in 10, 12 knots, but by this afternoon, 18 to 20, I think. We love it. Yeah, we like a bit of a breeze, a breeze up day. And uh, we did a bit of training in Valencia in some good breeze and full of confidence. Happy to go. We have to fix some um, parts of the Forsta that unfortunately we broke in yesterday, but Hopefully we can make the first race today. So second day, first race of the day, Interlodge lead off the right end of the line. Breeze is about 15 to 17 knots. The right shift up the first beat and uh, Interlodge on the right side of that with their sled and Allegra. Top mark is Interlodge leading. Breeze shifts back to the left on the upwind uh, second time up. Quantum Racing gain a little bit on the left. Phoenix get back uh, up to fourth. They were way, way back in the early part of the race, but on this left shift, Phoenix get right back up to fourth. Uh, Quantum Racing gain on the left side too to lead the race. And through the finish line, it's Quantum Racing getting the win. Phoenix just getting through Interlodge, uh, coming into the approach to the finish line to get third and uh, Platoon are second. So second race of the day, the breeze is up to 23, 24 knots on the start line. Great conditions, Quantum Racing make the best start, about one third from the right side of the group and uh, pretty much middle of the course going up the first beat. They lead Allegra at the top mark, Phoenix in third. Then uh, Phoenix get through Quantum to finish in first in the second race. Quantum Racing gets second and Phoenix extend their lead at the top of the table. You know, we had two good starts and that had a pretty big impact to our day. Boat's going well work that we've done over the winter you're seeing a little bit of that especially upwind which is nice you have to give Doug and work and Freddie you know high remarks because they're working the boat as hard as they possibly can but it's challenging it's hard everybody you earn your you earn your good races and you earn your bad races and so I think in that regard it's really it's a great spot to come and race in the first race we um, a little bit of a get out of jail free card on that one we um, we got certainly got the first half of the race very wrong but we got the second half very right and uh, managed to get sneak back to a a third which was awesome um, and then had a really awesome race in that last one uh, boat was going really well love love the breeze and uh, once we got in the lead we sort of managed to get away from everybody we're confident in each other that you know we're happy with our crew work and everything so you know right now we know that we've got three very difficult probably light air days coming up which in this fleet can be really tough yachting so a long way to go after four races in Bayona, Phoenix lead on eight points second are quantum racing on 12 platoon in third also on 12 Second day's racing, really top-notch uh, conditions, 23 knots in that second race. Two different winners, uh, Quantum Racing winning the first race, Phoenix the second race, and extending at the top of the table, but everybody just loving the sailing here in Galatea. <laughs> <laughs>